Hello everyone. After my previous video looking at the six color secondary palette and being reminded how much I dislike phthalo green, I wanted to take a look at all the greens that I have. So in today's video, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I also noticed that more than half the paints here are made up of phthalo and olive greens, but hopefully it should be interesting to see all the different brands compared. Right, so let's get started. So first up is the Van Gogh Olive Green. This is a mix of PG7, which is Thalo Green, and PY154, which is Benzimidazolone Yellow. This is the first Olive Green I ever tried, and I really liked it at the time. Um, it's a student grade paint, but I've always been happy with the quality of Van Gogh watercolors. It's going to be interesting to see how it compares to like the artist grade greens. Now onto another olive green. This one is from Lucas. Uh, this one is a mix of PG36, which is the yellow shade of phthalo green, and PO36, which is benzimidazolone scarlet. I don't think I've ever seen PO36 used before. Um, it's, this is definitely my favorite of the olive greens, I think. Next is the Magello Mission Gold Olive Green. This is made up from PG36, uh, which is Thalo Green Yellow Shade, uh, PY150, which is Nickel Azo Yellow, PR112, which is a Naphthol Red, and PBR25, which is Benzimidazolone Brown. Yes, you heard that right. This is a four pigment mix. Um, I've really no idea why Magello decided to do that. But then again, Magello do a lot of weird things with their mixtures. Um, so I guess if it wasn't strange, it wouldn't be Magello, would it? Now onto another Magello olive green. This time it's the Silver Student Range. It's made up of PY17. Uh, no idea how to pronounce the name. Um, PG7, phthalo green blue shade, uh, PR112, which is naphthol red. Okay, so this one's just a three pigment mix. Um, I, I actually prefer it to the Mission Gold version. Now onto the Schminky olive greens. Uh, the first is permanent green olive. This one is made up from PO62, which is benzimidazolone orange, and PG7, which is thalo green blue shade. As you can see, Schmincke have a very different take on what an olive green should look like. Um, to me, it looks nothing like an olive green, uh, but I do actually quite like this color. Uh, next is Schmincke Horridam Olive Green. Uh, this one's made from PB15, which is Thalo Blue, and PG8, which is Nitro So Green. Um, I've read that PG8 is not supposed to be very light fast, so maybe that explains why Schmincke offer two olive greens. Um, I do like this color a lot though, uh, but a commenter on a previous video said that it would be much better named something like Forest Green, and I definitely agree with that. Right, so that's all the olive greens. Uh, next up is Mijello Mission Gold Sap Green. This is a mix of PG36, which is the Thalo Green Yellow shade, and PY150, which is Nickel Azo Yellow. I've actually never really used a Sap Green before, but I know many artists do like it. So maybe this is one I should give a try in my palette. Next is the CAAM Supervision Yellow Green. Um, I'm not a fan of these Supervision paints, to be honest. Um, 
but I did want to include it here just to see how it looks alongside the others. Um, I'm not sure what pigments or dyes they use in them, and it seems that many of them are not very light fast. Um, the green is actually very nice, but I doubt I would use it in anything but sketchbooks. Uh, now back to another student grade paint with Van Gogh's Hooker's Green. It's a mix of PG7, which is Thalo Green Blue Shade, and PY154, which is Benzimidazolone Yellow. Quite like this Hooker's Green actually, I think it could be quite useful. Next is Rembrandt Chromium Oxide Green, PG17. I'm always in two minds about this paint. Um, I can't really decide if I like it or not. Um, it's, it's quite opaque and it is pretty dull when dry, but I think I probably prefer it to the olive greens. Uh, now onto the PG7 Thalo greens. Um, I can go through these a bit quicker as they're all the same pigment. So first is the Van Gogh Thalo Green. Then we have the Lucas Thalo Green. Then onto the Paul Rubens Emerald Green. Uh, then it's the Magello Mission Gold Viridian. And then finally it's the Magello Silver Class Viridian. This is the student grade. Okay, that's all five PG7 Thalo greens painted out. Um, I think that all five of them look pretty good, even the Van Gogh and Magello Silver student grade ones. Right, next is the Magello Mission Gold Prussian Green. This is a mix of PB27, which is Prussian Blue, and PG7, which is Thalo Green Blue Shade. I'm not really a fan of this colour to be honest, it's not the kind of green I'd use I don't think. Um, okay next is Van Gogh Dusk Green. This is a mix of PBK11 which is Iron Oxide Black and PG7 Thalo Green Blue Shade. I, I really love this heavily granulating green, um, I should definitely use it more in my paintings I think. Next I have two CAAM Supervision colours, um, Golden Green and Brown Green. Uh, again, I'm not sure what pigments or dyes they use in them. Um, this, this Brown Green has gone very strange in the tube. I'm pretty sure that when I swatched it out earlier in the year it was a lot more green. Now it's just kind of a gross brown. Right, so finally we're on to the last green, and it's Magello Mission Gold Van Dyke Green. It's made up of PG7 Thalo Green Blue Shade, and PBR25, which is Benzimidazolone Brown. I quite like this green when I first painted out, but then I'm always a little disappointed when I see how dull it dries. Okay, so that's all the greens, and here they all are when dry. Um, I'd say my favourites are the Lucas and Schmincke olive greens, uh, the Magello sap greens quite nice, the Van Gogh hookers green, and the Rembrandt chromium oxide. But honestly, I don't feel I really need any of them, or that I want to use them. I'm much happier 
mixing my own greens from the blues and yellows on my palette. Uh, maybe I need to spend a week or two with each of them just to experiment and maybe I'll learn to like them. So, what about you? Do you have any particular favourite greens? Um, you particularly like any of these ones in the video? Um, I think I'm pretty much done with greens now. I'm, I'm not planning on buying or trying any more until all of these are used up. Um, I'm pretty sure that's going to take quite a while. So thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.